Hello, and welcome to Sandra Nala's Advent Calendar. This is door number four. We have normal 4x4 four four stoker rules apply. Digits must not repeat in killer cages and must sum to the total given in the corner. And then we need to draw a non-branching path of orthogonally connected cells that starts at Nala in row 1, column 1, and ends at her daily treat in row 4, column 1. The path visit, visits each cage exactly once. And here's a twist for our killer cages. Digits on the path do not contribute to the cage total. All right, we'll start with the normal 4x4 four four Sudoku rules. So any complete row, any complete column, and any complete 2x2 two two box of the Sudoku will contain the digits 1 to 4 once each. Then we have our killer cages with a twist again. So when we add up the... When we add up the digits in the cage that do not have path on them, those will add up to the total given, right? So for example, in the nine cage, if this had path on it, then these three digits would have to add up to nine, right? If, if these three cells in the seven cage had path on them, then this one cell would have, have to add up to seven, all right? And then again, this is a non-branching orthogonally connected path. So this is not orthogonally connected, this is diagonally connected. This is orthogonally connected, but this is branching. So we cannot do that. And of course, as it says, we cannot visit a cage twice. So for example, getting to Nala, this would not be a valid solution to get to Nala because we have visited the seven cage twice. All right, those are the rules. Let's just jump right into it. All right. So, um, one to four is very limiting, especially if we're dealing with like five and nine. Those are really on the lower end of the spectrum because one plus two plus three plus four equals 10, right? That's like very close to our limit here. So what's gonna have to happen, I think, is we need to visit this nine cage exactly once to eliminate one from it. And I'm pointing here because I, th I think this is the only way to visit the nine cage once is from this cell here. So I think it has to go this way. It definitely has to go this way. If this isn't one here, then from 10, we can take away three to get to seven. And then five is also interesting. Five from here, we need to take away five. And the only way to do that is if we take away two cells and no more than that. So this either branches up like this to continue this way or like this to continue this way. But I think it's very safe to say that, yeah, this is one, this is three, this is three, this is two, four, which makes this one. We need to place two, four here. 2, 4, sorry, and actually we know the order because 1, 4, right? This is 2. 1, 4 leaves us with 2, 3 here. This becomes 1, 4. 3, 3 leaves us with 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. Hmm. Oh, well, that's it. It can now no longer be, it must be the 1, 2, 4 cage. So it, the path does go like this. So Nala gets her treat. Yay. Two is going to definitely go here. So this is four, this is two. Four then gets placed here. That gives us one here, two here, one here, three here, two here. And then to finish us off, this is three, this is four. And we're done with a three in the corner in two minutes and seven seconds. Hopefully that wasn't, you know, too quick at the end there. But, you know, this uh, this was a, I think this was a, uh, what, uh, what uh, Sandra said is a, uh, a snack Sudoku, so uh, a fun little 4x4 four four to play with. The concept is very cute, right? Making sure Nala gets to her treat. And uh, yeah, once we once we kind of thought about the sum of 1 to, to 4 being 10, it just kind of unlocked the whole puzzle for us. So I will catch you behind door number 5. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.